On Saturday, the 30th of March, 2019, the Civic Center in Victoria Island, Lagos, was thrown into a state of unusual glitz and glamour for the wedding ceremony of Seliake Tarela Alemesia and Amira Ulufumilayo Abraham. The groom, Seliake Tarela Alemesia, is the son of former Governor of Bioso State, the late Governor Diepri Alemesia and Mrs. Margaret Alemesia, while his bride, Amira Ulufumilayo Abraham, is the beautiful daughter of late Mr. Kayode Alaba Abraham from Itafaji in Lagos and Mrs. Aisha Abraham from Adamawa State. The event, which commenced with the opening prayer, was led by the mistress of ceremony, after which the groom's family were ushered into the hall and were gladly received by the bride's family. <laughs> Thereafter, a minute's silence was observed in honor of the couple's fathers, late Governor Diepiria Lamesia and late Mr. Kayo de Alaba Abraham. After that, the letter of intent was presented to the bride's mother, who received it joyfully, after which Zainab Bai, cousin to the bride, read the content of the letter. I am directed by the entire members of the family to bring you warm greetings in the name of Almighty God. We are seeking your permission to formalize the love and courtship between our beloved son, Seliake Tarila, and your precious daughter, Amira Olufumilayo. We are satisfied that the love between this young couple is genuine, and we pray that love, peace, and mutual understanding, long life, and prosperity we attend the proposed union. We therefore seek the consent of your illustrious family to give the hand of your daughter in marriage to our son. May God Almighty guide you as you deliberate as you deliberate upon this our proposal. <laughs> The groom, Seleake Tarela Lamesia, who was adorned in the Yoruba traditional attire, stepped out in company of his friends. They dutifully obeyed the instruction given by the mistress of ceremony. The groom later took pictures with both parents, who showered him with prayers before he proceeded to his seat to patiently wait for his amiable bride. <laughs> Next was the arrival of the priceless jewel, the bride, Amira Ulufumilayo Abraham, 
in company of her friends. She paid homage to her mother, who heartily shot her with prayers, after which she proceeded to greet her in-laws, who also prayed for her. <laughs> As customary, the bride Amira Ulufumilayo Abraham was invited to pick the most treasured item brought by the groom's family, and as a lover of God, she picked the Holy Bible. The exchange of their marriage rings followed, after which high celebrations ensued, which brought the first phase of the wedding ceremony to an end. Guests later proceeded to the third floor of the event center, which was stunningly decorated for the reception party. The gorgeous look of the arena displayed impeccable luxury with humility, a character trait of the Alamesias and the Abraham. <laughs> Reception began with the opening prayer led by Pastor Caleb Lazarus, after which Pastor Williams Duru officiated in the solemnization of the holy matrimony. In his words of encouragement to the couple, he advised them to love and be submissive to each other, as no home is perfect, neither is anyone. And it's important for us to know the two things that keep marriage, one on the side of the man and the other one on the side of the lady. And the Bible made it very clear, one on the side of the lady, Ephesians 5 made it very clear, it said the woman should submit to the man, and the man should love the wife. And these two things are not depending on each other and uh, any of them. Submission is not waiting for love, and love is not waiting for submission. Both of you came together to form one person. And if two of you can be one, you have a good home. There's a living God. There are issues in marriage, but when there is humility, when there is submission, when there is love, we will deal with these matters and we let the world know that we are strong. So I want you to get this. And this is why I've been here since morning, so I can talk to both of you before I leave. Praise the living God. The exchange of marital vows and rings followed next, after which the party kicked off with the entry of the Abrahams, followed by the Alamisias. They were hugely supported by their family members and friends, as they all danced joyfully into the arena. <laughs>
The chairman of the occasion, Ambassador God knows the Galley, as well as other distinguished guests, give the couple tips on how to maintain a successful marriage and to pray for a blissful union. We want to thank God for making us all of us to see this day and especially to congratulate them on their coming together the traditional ceremony which came just before this one was fantastic Salake and Amira I speak as chairman of the occasion on behalf of all of us who have come from outside Nigeria, from different parts of this country, to congratulate you and again collectively wish you all the best of a happy married life. Our wish, our prayers, and our hope is that your marriage will stand out. And that many, many, many years from now, both of you will continue to celebrate each other in Jesus' mighty name. Let this love grow, grow into a very, very serious bond of friendship. Very serious bond of friendship. Because when you both discover yourselves, then you don't lie to each other. You forgive yourselves. And when the children start coming, you start discovering the inner beauty of the woman. The inner beauty of your wife will start coming out. And both of you, by the grace of God, will truly live till death do you. The kick caught an exercise on couple's first official assignment as man and wife was supervised by the mother of the day, Mrs. Nuratu Batangarawa, the permanent secretary, Ministry of Defense. Wish you everything good that comes from the Almighty. A beautiful life, a very long one, healthy, full of beautiful, wonderful children, both an ending love and blessings. Together, let us say Amen. This was immediately followed by the corporal's first dance, which indeed was a sight to behold, as they were romantically absorbed in each other's arms. Later on, Nigerian talented musician Dami Crane thrilled the couple and guests with some of his hit songs. <laughs> As the event gradually came to a close, the faith band, known for creativity and a unique blend of music, took total control of the night with very great vibes, which saw guests taking turns to hit the dance floor with a couple and their parents. As I say, everything that has a beginning must have an end. So, the three-in-one marriage ceremony of Siliake and Amira was brought to a close with a vote of thanks and closing prayer delivered by Mr. Alexander Olariwaju and Mr. Akwebide Alamisia, respectively. It was indeed a ceremony that will not be forgotten in a hurry. <laughs> From the chairman and CEO Biscon Communications, Prince Bissio Latilo, and the entire Biscon crew, we wish the newlyweds a blissful union.